Attack Yo, what's your boy Ghost here? Today being there's another comparison video between STG and a Tom-Tom. And I wanted to make this comparison because I wanted to see if the STG is still like a top tier AR that is capable of being in the meta. Because I feel like ever since the Tom-Tom has been back, the STG has been kind of out of place. Whereas like people just don't use it as much as they did before. Um, because it's, for one, it's like not the number one option anymore like the Tom-Tom is. And also like... I feel like people are just not thinking of it as a alternative. Like people are just rocking a different type of uh, Vanguard primary, or they're just going back to like the old school primaries that we had from like Cold War and Modern Warfare. But I wanted to see if, like if there was a reason for that. If the gun just is underperforming and people are just not liking it, or if it's just got completely forgotten for just I don't know over time. But before we do get into the person, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. One or two thousand subs. Uh, we're about seventy. I guess at this point, a little bit less than seventy subs away. So every sub is greatly help and is always very appreciated. Also, if you guys could do me a favor, follow me over at my Twitch channel at always goes underscore. That would also be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, let's get into the person. Here we have the Rico pattern for the STG, and as you guys can see, you know the Rico pattern. You know, a little bit crazy, I guess, because it kind of goes to the right. But in reality, we all know that this SCG has no, you know, no recall. Um, but um, I don't know if I actually said this in this intro, but uh, when I said that the SCG like actually didn't get changed at all in quite some time, it's actually not true because it got changed due to an attachment change. Um, because the hollow point ammunition uh, perk, whatever, ended up getting nerfed and like. Uh, I don't know man, like, I haven't tried it out, so I don't know how bad it got nerfed, but, you know, I just, I'm a lengthen gun now, like, that's the only thing I run, I rarely use any other, um, what's it called, a ammunition perk for these guns, I just always use lengthen now, because everything gets nerfed, but lengthen, I think lengthen is like the only thing that's been buffed from that side of the attachments, and like, the other ones just get nerfed every time, um, and it's kind of impacted the way I built my SDG, because I feel like with that hollow point, Using the fire rate magazine is kind of like makes my gun way too weak, and so I switched away from that and put lengthen and just ran the normal 60 round mag. And to be honest, like I don't know how I'm feeling it. Like I kind of like it. I feel like it definitely lacks a little bit of killing power though. Like I definitely feel like it shoots. Sometimes it feels like it shoots marshmallows, where sometimes it feels like it shoots news. It's like an inconsistent balance, but at the same time. If I compare that to like a time time, it's about the same because both these guns have their instances where they melt. But then sometimes you leave somebody one shot and you're like, oh man, if I had a little bit more damage, if I had a little bit more of this, I would have killed them. That's kind of how it feels sometimes um, with this, with both these guns actually. Like I, I can't really apply that to one um, and just say that the other one isn't, isn't the same. Like they both feel the same. Like sometimes they're like inconsistent uh, killing machines sometimes, you know? Like one time you're going to melt somebody completely. And the other time, bro, it's just gonna be one shot, and you're gonna be like, hmm, I should've killed that gun. But, you know, it is what it is. I feel like it just even opens up the whole conversation for the SCG because, like, it acts very similar to that of the Automaton, which is obviously, I would say, the most popular AR in the moment, or primary, I should say. And, you know, for SCG to be able to act similar to what to that, then, like, I'm gonna hey, man. But, anyways, man, like, like I said earlier, I actually don't really know why this gun just stopped being used. Like, I feel like people were high on it for a little bit, and then now it's just kind of like, I barely see it now. Like, people just completely just forgot about it, and it's just kind of, hmm. I'm wondering why. Like, if you guys actually have your own theory as to why it's appearing, let me know. I think maybe it's because more people just started to not care and start going back to the other ARs. Because, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, bro... Cold War Modern Warfare ARs, no matter what, bro, they're way better than Vanguard ARs and whatnot. And people are just becoming more comfortable running those guns again. And so, like, that could be, like, a huge reason as to why, instead of using an automaton, people are just like, okay, if I might use the automaton, I might as well use something like an XM4. I might as well use, like, a C58 FAR and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, man. Let me say, though, let's just get into the automaton and some stats. And then we have the Rico pattern for the automaton. And every time I see the automaton's Rico pattern, it just makes me smile, bro. Like, this thing theoretically should have a lot of Rico. And yet, this is one of the most accurate guns in the game as well. Like, bro, I don't know, man. Just, this game doesn't make any sense. But hey, that's just Warzone, man. Half the stuff that we do here doesn't make any sense. Um, but another theory, man, that I was just thinking about as to why the STG may just not, like, be people's go-to is just i feel like it just doesn't kill fast enough because if you look at all the other weapons bro like 
A lot of them just, like, they either shoot fast or they feel like they just kill for the Cooper Carbine. I would say it's pretty fast, you know, or definitely fast. The Tom Tom, pretty fast. The Brand is just like in the perfect balance of it shooting somewhat fast and then like being able to have like a lot of damage and then, you know, all the other like, what's it called? All the other uh, guns from other games, they, I mean, they do their thing, right? And the SCG, like, I don't know, like I just said, bro, it feels inconsistent, but I think it might be more inconsistent than even like the Tom Tom. Um, because the Tom Tom, man, if you like really get going, bro, this gun is just. It literally shoots me. Like when I was on point with my Tom Tom name, bro, it, it, like it's a really fun game because I'm just not missing and it's just I'm not getting gunned because this gun kills me like that. But um, speaking of that, the first item we're gonna talk about is the fire rate, obviously. And for the Tom Tom, we have 833 RPM, whereas the SDG is a 600 RPM. And it's kind of crazy though because 600 RPM is very, it's the same as the brand. And yet, like, I don't know, I feel like the SCG and the Brand are both two different guns. That may be because of their damage or some other reason, but, like, like I mentioned, bro, some people just might not think the SCG is all that because it doesn't feel like it kills fans. Because 600 RPM, like, isn't necessarily the craziest fire rate, but it isn't also the slowest. And also, you can always put on attachments, which, again, that's what I was doing with the magazine, but maybe that may be the reason why it feels like that because I took away pretty much all the fire rate attachments that I had except for length and... and you know, now it just kind of feels like it took a step back a little bit. But I'm going to go back and try out the magazine again. It's just like, I don't like using the magazine with that hollow point because it feels like I'm shooting actual marshmallows. Um, but maybe this time around I'm going to try it differently so I can see if I get better results. Because um, I feel like the normal mag is cool, but it's just not enough because it definitely feels weak. So I think I might need to the fire rate on my STG to make it feel like that. And I'll definitely recommend it to you guys. Definitely look for some fire rate attachment to help you because I feel like that's what's gonna make your SCG kill a little bit faster and definitely feel a lot faster. Um, but yeah, this is a suggestion. But anyways, man, like the Tom Tom here 33 though, like that's just godly. Definitely like really fast for an AR, and one of the primary reasons why people are just you know using it, and it just feels really good. And on top of that, man, high fire rate, uh, no recoil, like that's just a godly matchup. Um, and, you know. Hence why we got another Tom Tom though. But anyways, man, moving over to the damage. Like, this is where, like, again, like I'm saying, I don't understand how, like, the SCG isn't being talked about more. Because the damage is, I would say, way, way more powerful than the Tom Tom. And again, the fire rate isn't slow. Like, it's comparable to that of the Brent. So, I, like, although the SCG may feel inconsistent, I feel like it should be respected a lot more. Um, but anyways... For well, 0 42 units for the Tom Tom, we got 32 damage to the head and neck, 24 to the chest and stomach, and then 22 to the extremities. For 0 to 31 meters for the SCG, you got 45 damage to the head and neck, 32 to the chest, 30 to the stomach, and extremities. So, again, you know, SCG with the clear advantage and damage. Um, and I don't, I don't know how the damage fares to like that of the Bren, but like, I mean, come on, like, it has way more damage than the Automaton, and if the Bren was, you know, Sometimes it's or still is people's like number one choice for some people over an automaton and like SCG could be still could be up there for 42 meters and above for the automaton. You have 28 damage to the head and neck, 20 to the chest and stomach, and then 19 to the extremities. Then for the SCG 31 meters and above, you got 39 damage to the head and neck, 28 to the chest, and then 26 to the stomach and extremities. So again, like the damage. Uh, advantage is still there. The Tomaton takes a huge hit in like the extremity department for range. 19 damage to the extremities. Ah, that's pretty tough, bro. But still, people rather use the Tomaton than the SCG. At this point, I think the only other reason might be like bullet velocity. Because um, if you guys don't know, I'm sure most of you guys do know though. Um, Vanguard weapons kind of have like just weird bullet velocity. They just don't have anything near like Cold War and Vanguard or uh, Cold War and Modern Warfare. And then that goes the same for the Cold War guns. Like, Cold War has less bullet velocity overall than Modern Warfare weapons. Like, Modern Warfare weapons for bullet velocity are still like the king. It's kind of crazy because we literally downgraded every year that, that integrations come out. Thank God for Warzone 2, though. Warzone 2 should help fix this problem. Um, but, I mean, like, the Vanguard having just not as much bullet velocity as some of these OG weapons is just kind of tough because... From what I understand, at this point, the bullet velocity is probably like the most important thing because it allowed for Cold War Modern Warfare weapons to act the way they acted. And then Vanguard weapons came in without the bullet velocity and it's just kind of like, yo, these guns suck. And that might be the reason why the SCG um, just isn't like as good as people, or I guess, I don't know, maybe just 
that we thought. Like, it's just not as good as people thought, considering what we have now. And I don't know, man. I personally think, though, in conclusion, like, the SCG is still a really good AR. Although it may feel inconsistent, I think it's still really good. Um, and it's just, I don't know, kind of overshadowed. I would, I would say it's good, but it's just really overshadowed by the current meta that we have now and the current guns that people are only wanting to use right now. Um, but anyways, man, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace.